by allowing these nibs to soak, we're actually getting a fair amount of the ink out of them. And if you wanna save that ink, there's several ways you can do it. I'm going to go ahead and use an eyedropper to pull it out and put it in a spray bottle. And then add some more rubbing alcohol and just continue to do that because I mean, why not, right? I'm trying to clean these out anyway. Um, it's basically free alcohol ink. Why let it go to waste? I think I'm gonna grab that over there as well. And I keep spray bottles in my studio for all kinds of things. I can clean it out in here. Make a big mess. That's what the craft mat is for. And it looks like it is actually getting some of the color out. So that's cool too. A nice dual purpose there. Of course it ends up making a huge mess, but what, what do I do that doesn't? And if I had more blue greens, I could even make a nice blue green kind of extraction. So yeah, I guess you could continue doing this until you've gotten either gotten your nibs uh, fairly clean or until you've extracted all of the color you're gonna be able to extract. I guess it really depends on what your purpose is. I'm just trying to learn something new and see what I can get, what I can salvage. So anything is good. Browns are coming along pretty nice though. This is also a lot easier than those, uh, my other attempts at making my own uh, alcohol ink. Although I found some highlighters and I kinda wanna do jars and uh, See if I can get some fluorescence. I might not be able to get too much more out of the pink. I mean, this isn't like, I wouldn't recommend doing this as like a way to get your own, um, like to fully stock alcohol inks. Like this is, this is just like recycling. This is a salvage mission. I mean, heck, you could even put the cores in your spray bottles and then just remove them later. But I could see that being really, like even, even possibly for me, even messier than this. And this is already really messy. I don't think I'm actually gonna be able to salvage the, um, the, the nibs themselves. I think those are just a lost cause, but being able to salvage the ink is pretty neat. But who knows, maybe if you like left it in a jar overnight, a uh, shut jar, a uh, closed jar, so that it couldn't just leak, maybe you would end up with a clean nib. Because some of these are going better than others. I'm not even trying to, oh, it all went out, wah. I'll switch it over into this. I'm not getting as much color as I was. I think probably the majority of the ink has left these. But I got almost a full mini spritzer bottle of this and this would probably work with any alcohol based nibs or if you like bought cheap alcohol markers and you didn't like them, you can make misters like this as well, probably. So like some of those Hobby Lobby, oh, are you leaking? Have you given up the ghost? Is it leak time? I think it's, I think it's died. I think I'm gonna lose all of my, my precious brown ink. I better get it while I can. Yeah, I think, I think these 
might end up spraying them. So I'm gonna clean this up and I'll check in with you guys later when I'm swatching my spray bottles. All right guys, so I never ended up getting all of the ink or at least all of the staining out of my nibs. These were both soaked. Although I guess this one is pretty much clean. This one's just dry, so who knows. But I did end up getting some mister out of it. This is from the Skin Tones. That's a very pale sort of skin tone color. This is from the browns, the first batch. I, I tried to get it as diluted as possible. It's not bad, actually. Um, and this is diluted a little bit. So um, they're a little less saturated than um, inkers made straight with like straight um, straight ink put into a mister bottle. Like, let's see, here's a Copic one made with various ink. See, um, it's a little more saturated, but they're still pretty cool and considering they were made with like, I don't know, less than a dollar's worth of rubbing alcohol and some nibs that I was probably gonna have to throw away. Anyway, I'm satisfied with them. And uh, to be really honest, this isn't even a bad color for a skin tone. It's got kind of like a nice um, tint to it. So if my Copic, blank Copic sketch markers ever come in and they're kind of late, I might end up filling my own.